Welcome everybody to our online kids church this morning. It is so, so lovely to see you again. I'm so glad you're here. Now today is a little bit special because I've got two lovely friends joining me. Hi Claire. Hi little Jonathan. Hi. Hi Vicky. They are going to help lead us today in learning the story of Jonah and the big fish. Over to you, Claire and little Jonathan. Welcome everyone. We're really glad to be with you this morning for our online church. Aren't we little Jonathan? Well, have we got some things for us to learn about today? We're going to learn about a story from our very special book, the Bible. Can you remember the rhyme and actions that Vicky taught us all last week? Look, look, look. It's our very special book. It's the Bible. Now we're going to practice that again. So we say, look, look, look. It's our very special book. It's the Bible. Hooray! Brilliant. Now in our story today, I need you to practice making some faces. And I'm gonna ask you to do these faces at certain points in the story. So first of all, I need you to look sad. Now I want you to look really sad. Now we're going to have a go at looking shocked or surprised. <gasps> That's brilliant little Jonathan, well done. And finally, I want you to be able to do this, tut. Can you do that little Jonathan? <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, so I think we're ready for our story. Little Jonathan, would you like to hear the story? <gasps> He's very excited. So I hope you've got your listening ears on. Okay, so this is a story about a man called Jonah. And Jonah was just like you and me. He was a normal human being. Sometimes he did things that made God happy. And sometimes he did things that made God sad. That's a very good sad face, little Jonathan. <laughs> One day, God said to Jonah, Jonah, I want you to go to Nineveh and tell the people that they need to say sorry to me. Well, Jonah didn't like the people in Nineveh. That's a bit sad, isn't it? In fact, he really didn't like the people in Nineveh. And so he decided he'd run away and hide from God. <gasps> really? Really, Jonah? Yes, that is what he decided to do. And so off he ran. And he went all the way to the beach and he got into the sea and he found a boat and he asked the sailors if he could come onto their boat. And so they said yes. He got onto the boat and when he was on the boat, he decided he'd hide and go to sleep so that God couldn't find him. Do you think that was a good plan, little Jonathan? You can't really hide from God. He's God. Tap, 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 tap. But Jonah thought it was a good plan. So when he was asleep on the boat, suddenly the sailors could hear some music. <gasps> Where was it coming from? Do you know, little Jonathan? I think it was coming from the fish under the sea. <gasps> really? Do you think that might be true? Should we go and have a look? Should we go and meet the fish and the creatures under the sea and see what they're going to tell us about God? Okay, let's do that. Do it. Okay, bring on the fish. 
scary. Why is the seat wet? I don't care. Because the seaweed. Then stop with the jokes, man. Stop. What's, what's green and squishy? It spends a lot of time underwater. We're gonna be in trouble. Whatever <laughs> cat over the microwave. Hey! You stop interrupting me. What's the matter? But the great white. The great white what? Shark. Sure. This great kaleidoscope of life displays fish and all those sea creatures and do you know what they know quite a lot about God they do more than Jonah do you remember Jonah was hiding on the boat trying to get away from God he didn't want to do what God had asked him to do and he wasn't sorry about it that's a bit sad isn't it should we do our sad face Brilliant little Jonathan. So, Jonah was asleep on the boat, but then suddenly a storm started. God sent the storm because he knew that Jonah needed to obey him, that he needed to come to his right mind and do what he'd been asked to do. Because God loves people. And when we've done something wrong, God wants people to say sorry for it. Well, in the end, all that rocking and rolling on the boat woke up Jonah and he knew that storm was from God. And so he said to the sailors, put me into the water and you'll all be safe. You don't have to be scared. Once I'm in the water, I know that's God and he will deal with me. And along came, once Jonah was in the water, a whale, a big fish, the Bible tells us. And its mouth was open and it gobbled up Jonah. <gasps> Little Jonathan, have you ever been swallowed by a whale? No, me neither. <gasps> I expect it was a bit scary, wasn't it? But while he was in the tummy of the whale, the storm stopped. And God helped the whale to take Jonah all the way to Nineveh. <laughs> So even though Jonah tried to run away, it hadn't worked. God used the big fish to take him to dry land. And he spat him out. And Jonah then said sorry to God. He came to his right mind. He knew he'd done the wrong thing. He should have listened to God. And he should have done what God asked him to. And in the end, he went to the people in Nineveh and he told them that they needed to say sorry to God, just like he had done. And actually, because God loves us, he would forgive them. So that story, can you remember where it comes from? Where does it come from, little Jonathan? That's right. It comes from our special book, the Bible. And God wants us to know that sometimes we do do wrong things and we do make God sad. But actually, he's always there and he wants us to say sorry and he'll always forgive us. So, little Jonathan, did you enjoy our story? Excellent. I enjoyed it too. One of our ideas that you could go and play today is you could play a game where you hide a little character who's Jonah uh, or a character like the whale somewhere in a room and then ask someone in your family to see if they can find it. 
And if they can, that's great because we can remember we can't hide from God, can we? So, okay, so this time, little Jonathan, I'm going to hide Jonah. Okay, are you ready? So, close your eyes. I'm going to hide him over here. Okay. All right, little Jonathan, can you find where Jonah is? No. Where is he, children? Can you show him where Jonah is? Keep looking, little Jonathan. Can you see him? Yes, you're right. There he was, hiding in the corner. Should we have one last go with the whale, little Jonathan? Do you want to try and hide him again? Okay. So I close my eyes this time. I wonder where he's going to hide that whale. I'm going to look up high this time and I'm going to look down low. I can't see it anywhere. Children, can you help me? Can you see the whale anywhere? You can? Where is it? I can't see it on my shoulder. It's not there. What? Try my other shoulder. There it is. Well done, little Jonathan. That was good hiding. So next, I want to show you how to make our craft for today. And I want to show you how to make a whale. So, I thought it would be good for us to maybe make a big fish today as our craft. And you can see my big fish here. So how did I make him? Well, I started off with an old paper plate. So this is one that we had at Christmas, but I've also got some that we had for a birthday. And what you do, first of all, with your scissors, is you just cut this part off two bits and then you turn this bit round and with a little bit of sticky tape I am going to stick those together. There we go and it's starting to look like a fish. Now to make it even more like a fish I'm going to cut a little mouth. There we go. So I'm cutting out this shape and can you see now that's beginning to look like a whale or a fish. So I'm going to add an eye, there we are, and I think I would like my fish, my nice big whale, to be blue. So I'm going to colour in and as you can see I've got a colouring pen here. I'm sure you can do this better than me, but there we are, we're adding some colour. Now the final thing that would be great to have would be a spout of water. And so I've got some blue card and I've drawn a little spout of water coming out of the top of my whale's blowhole. <laughs> and here I go, I cut round it. it, doesn't have to be perfect, but here we go, and ta -da! I've got some water. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach that there. So I've got another piece of sticky tape, and I'm going to put that round my finger, and I'm gonna take it round so that I make a little circle of sticky tape. And then I'm going to put that on the back there. And then I'm going to stick my little spout there. And there is my whale, or my big fish. Now, if you haven't got a paper plate, you could use some card. And with that card, I'm going to take a cereal bowl and I'm going to draw around it. And then I'm going to draw another little part 
of the circle to make it thin at the back. And there you go. And then with my scissors, I'm going to cut that. So here's one that I cut earlier. And then again, I can add his eye. I can colour my whale in. It could be a boy or a girl whale. And I'm sure you can do that with a bit more care than I've done. And I need to cut the whale mouth. So there you go. There it is. Now, what are we missing? We're missing his blowhole. And if you haven't got any blue card, then you could colour in that little bit of card there. And then we could make a little splash of water to come out of his blowhole from that little bit of paper. In and out we go. And then we can stick that at the top. And there you go, you've got your whale. Now, once you've got this whale, you could do all sorts of things with him. You could take a picture and send it to us at Highway Church. We'd love to see your craft, but also you could hide things in his mouth. Maybe you want to retell the story of Jonah and actually have a little person that you use and your whale. That's our craft for today. So, I hope you enjoyed making your whale and that will help you remember the story of Jonah and not to hide from God and to be quick to say sorry. So here's my whale, but look, I think another one is coming. And look, who's this? Hello everyone, look at my whale, wonderful whale, bless <laughs> you. That's nice, Pastor Simon has said hello to us. Thank you so much, Claire. That was brilliant. So we have learned all about Jonah and the big fish. And we have learned that Jonah ran away and hid from God. And he didn't listen to him. And he didn't do what he wanted him to do. But the good news is that Jonah realised his mistake. And he said sorry to God. And God always forgives us. So let's pray together. Dear Lord Jesus, please help us every day this week to listen to you and do what you ask us to. Amen. Thanks, Claire. Thanks, little Jonathan. Bye, Vicky. Bye, everyone. See you next week.